I wanted to talk about the differences between products, templates, and designs because we're using this, these terms several different ways in different sections of the site within fancy product, within WooCommerce, and then also on the, the, uh, the front-facing side, side of the site that the customer sees. Now on the back end under fancy product designer what they're calling products is actually these different these different items here which we're kind of going to cover. These are the actual what the customer on the front end is going to see kind of as design templates. Fancy Product Designer does have a template section up here. They've got templates, my templates. These aren't really usable from our standpoint though, um, but so we kind of created custom templates down in this area here where we've got these just listed as templates. And I'll explain that more in, in future videos. I just want to kind of differentiate that here. So these products here are actually design templates you can kind of think of. And then these templates up here would be template templates, uh, meaning these are templates that we use to build the design templates on the back end. It's a little confusing now. It'll probably make sense as we get as we go down the road. Fancy Product Designer also uses the term designs. Um, what they mean by designs, designs are essentially elements that can be reused within products um, or design template or reused within design templates if we're referring to what we're calling on the front end. These are just items that you can upload that people can reuse. In some of the cases, in this case we've got these different icons. We also have these different text quotes in a fancy fancy font and then these um, this particular would be a, just a graphic element. So those are basically what they're referring to on the back end as designs. Now if we go on the front end of the site um, you can see we've got design templates. Design templates are basically on the back and what fancy product designer refers to as products. I didn't think on the front end it would be as nice for the end user for them to be seeing these called products. I think design templates sounds nicer because essentially these are templates for someone to create a design. Now speaking back to the designs in fancy product, um, originally they were also called designs on the front end, but I thought that would be confusing. So I changed it to be graphic or symbol. Up here you've got this button that says insert graphic or symbol. This originally said insert design, and I thought that was kind of confusing because then it would sound like you're putting a design into a design. So I changed this to insert a graphic or symbol. Hopefully that'll make more sense for, for the end user. But basically these are the different items that someone can, someone can grab and put in the design. So that's kind of in fancy product designer the difference between um, designs, products, and templates. Now inside of WooCommerce there's also products. The products in WooCommerce relate to how these items are, are actually, these products are linked with these products in that the WooCommerce version of the product is how it's shown on the site. So if I go to all products here you can see we've got these different ones and these are basically just the same thing as the products we created under inside of here. The only ones that aren't listed is are the, te the design templates. They're the, the template templates that we created which are these top ones here. And as you create more this will definitely grow and expand. So you'll kind of want to differentiate between up here what you're using is kind of blank templates and what you're using is more finished products. And I've done that here by just setting these as templates and these as products and then kind of numbering them accordingly. So these four down here, and they've been added um, over here. So we've got product one, product two, product three, and product four. And this, this title can be different than how it's listed in this section. You kind of have the, the, the area to, to modify it within this section, within the um, product on here. And I'll cover this all further in, in future videos. I just wanted to kind of give a brief overview um, just so there's no confusion kind of moving forward with things. And it'll make a lot more sense as we go.